Hey beauties and welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Okay, so today's video we're going to be trying out um, a Cos Elia kit that I found off of AliExpress. Uh, this kit comes with like uh, glitter poly gels. I haven't seen Cos Elia's like do glitter poly gels so I wanted to give it a try. Uh, there's a couple of nudes and there's a couple of glitter poly gels as well. Uh, so this kit comes with dual forms. Uh, I have so many dual forms now that I, I, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> uh, it comes with a top and a base coat and I like that they are in plastic. Little baggies so that like obviously if they, they spill then they won't contaminate everything else. They, they're plastic bottles. They're, I think they're like 8 milliliters or something like that. Uh, they're they just feel like base coat and top coat. I, I don't really know what to say about it. I I do notice that Cross Elia, their top and base do smell very chemically, like gel chemical. Um, but when that, they were fine. They worked fine. They cured fine. Uh, it, this kit also comes with a 100 to 180 grit file. Um, some slip solution, which is also wrapped in plastic. Now, Cross Elia doesn't usually do this, so I'm actually quite happy that they've done this. They must have just started doing it. So... Yeah, I'm glad. I think that all polygel brands should do this because slip solution does spill. So at least with the plastic, you can guarantee that like it, you're safe from it spilling and leaking everywhere on everything else. Um, and then it also comes with your spear javelin tool, which of course is your polygel brush. Uh, the spatula is on one end, and then the um brush is on the other there was a bit of packing tape so i just pushed it out and it was good to go the bristles i know with coselia brushes they are a lot like wider um than some of the brushes that i've used before by the way my camera at the beginning of this recording does go a bit blurry i don't know why uh so there are seven different poly gels in here they are all 15 milliliter tubes and they all do come sealed which is great love a good sealed uh poly gel I don't know why I showed that on camera, but as you can see, this one here I just picked up randomly is glitter. The only thing is about uh, Corselia Polygel is they don't have names. They just have numbers. They don't even have a swatch like of what colour, which is a pain because then you've got to open all the bottles to find it. I know you can put like a blob onto the top, but because it's a uh, hollow, it's like... Uh, it kind of... The hollow kind of defeats the swatch if that makes sense uh so this one didn't actually have a sticker i don't know why um but it's like a translucent pink it's a very nice bright pink i do like this color it's like a jelly pink which is nice um and then we go through them now uh there's like uh an orangey pinkish nude a clear and then some glitters i think i said there's seven in total uh this the, the the glitters are very nice the nudes and nothing new i think every brand has these sort of nudes now um i think the, the glitter poly gels they did actually remind me of um your yogi glitter poly gels uh they were but this poly gel although it works fine um i did notice that they, it was a little stickier and it wasn't as firm as your yogi so take a, that of what you will if you prefer like softer poly gel um then this is definitely a route to go. I just, I prefer Firma Poly Gel. I think it's because I really do enjoy working with Yogi and McCart and Gersh and, and do you know what I mean? So I prefer that Firma Poly Gel. But this did work. It was fine. It wasn't like overly sticky. It wasn't giving me a nightmare. Um, But yeah, this are, these are all the swatches. And as you can see, there's like a couple of, um, there's four, I think, four glitters and then a clear and then those two like nudes. So, yeah, this, it's a nice little kit. I got it off AliExpress. It took a couple of weeks to get to me. I'm not going to lie. It did take a couple of weeks. But, it, you know, it, it, this was only like £7 something with all that I've just shown you on the camera. It was £7 something. And I, so I bought two kits. I bought this one and I also bought a colour changing one, which I thought would be fun to use. Um, <clears throat> but I'll do a video on that some other time. Uh, so, yeah, this is... They, those are the, the swatches cured and uncured. Obviously, the uncured was first. And I'm going to be doing the laser girl method today. Uh, so I'm just showing you how I'd fit my tips. 
making sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall and that there is a gap in the center so that you can put product and of course these fit my nail uh, my cuticle area very well so yeah excuse my very dry thumb not thumb my very dry skin i should say it's just i was just looking at my thumb uh i've said in a previous video because of all the hand washing and um all of the uh hand sanitizer that i'm using at the moment and obviously with my kids uh, my hands are so dry and i'm a picker so i pick up like skin i'm so bad for it like my cuticles i will sit there and pick up all day I, I don't know if anyone else does it but oh man i and this is why i end up with like really thick cuticles as you can see <laughs> um but yeah i'm just showing you some quick preps you would push back your cuticle with the uh rounded like spoon edge don't do that hard, it's very gentle, you just need to push them back and then use the, the sharper end of the tool end to scrape out any of the dirt, dead skin and dirt and dust. As you can see, that's what I'm doing here. I use a bit of tweezers to pull that bit out because it was like hanging by a thread. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, my cuticles are very uh, dusty and gross. So yeah, I already know, don't have to tell me, okay? I promise, I know. And then I went in with some peel-off base coat, but of course, if you want your nails to last, you would go in with normal base coat, of course, after you've done your prep. I'm just saying that now because I'll probably forget in a second. You can use some scissors to cut the uh, dead cuticle. Make sure you only cut the dead cuticle though. Um, there's actually a word for it, I can't, I can't pronounce it, I'm not gonna try, um, but yeah don't cut too deep into your cuticles because then you will just ruin your cuticles um you want to get the dead skin as you can see my nails are so awful at the moment i've barely done anything to my nails in like a what two weeks now um and i'm just showing you you need to buff out the shine the natural shine you're not when you buff out the sh natural shine just um you're doing it softly you're only taking a shine away you're not taking any any layers away from your actual natural nail um and then of course you would go in with dehydrator and primer um i do dehydrator and two coats of primer but i forgot because i wasn't actually keeping these on today um and then you would go in with your base coat and cure of course let your primer dry first before you do that because of course yeah um and also when you do put like when you finish doing your prep or you're halfway through your prep don't do anything with your hands because you'll be sorry everything sticks to you it's it's like silicone with dust you know <laughs> so there are my um on my stand are all of my uh nails ready to go and these are the um these are like the decorations i use i do end up using a fine red glitter as well um because that chunky one was just too much. I, I needed like a mixture of fine and chunky. So I'm just taking off two of the nails here. And basically what I do is I show you how I do all of my design work. And then we go in with the poly gel after. Because I thought it would be easier if we could just break it down. So basically I've taken the ring finger and the pointer finger. And I've just put some ba base coat base, <laughs> base coat into the nails. And now I'm just going to put some of those um gold uh what are they called snowflakes and the white snowflakes that i got from my amazon haul i think it was last week or the week before a uh, black friday one it was uh so yeah i push them into the wet base coat cure and then i go in with another layer of base coat and put some of red glitter in and cure again uh the actual this idea was um inspired by um uh gosh evie <laughs> long hair pretty nails uh, i watched a video the other day of her christmasy nails and i absolutely loved it she done them with acrylic um i will put a post somewhere like a picture somewhere on the screen but this is what this set was inspired by her i'd highly recommend her as well she's one of the first youtubers that i ever watched nail youtubers i should say um she's fantastic and i absolutely love her content um inspiring and just she gets you obsessed you know but anyhow uh so i do uh two of each cure and then i go in with another as you can see and uh yeah so it was pretty easy um with uh this method i get a lot of questions people think that it's the lazy uh, it's the um dual form method and it's not it's a lazy girl method uh by femi beauty i've had a lot of people saying to give you credit i do give you credit guys if you m watch more than one of my videos you will see that i give uh here credit in i think all but one i think of my lazy girl method videos so please don't 
be hating in the comments there's really no need for it there's no need for bullying and stuff like that i i don't see the point in it um if you want to bully someone go go elsewhere because we're all a family here and we're all positive and i don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable in my comment section you know this is my nail family and if you guys want to go watch Femi Beauty, then you can. I'm a big fan of her. Again, she is the other nail tuber that I watched. It was her, Evie, and Emily. So, yeah. Um, don't be coming here and hating on me when I've given credit. I never, I never don't give credit, you know. Uh, so, anyway, moving back over to the nails. I then press in some of that chunky glitter into the pinky finger obviously put in base coat first and then i go over it with the fine glitter i'm trying to do like a an ombre of glitter to clear nail here at the moment and then i cure this as well um there was something else i was going to mention i can't remember where it was hmm. oh with the lazy girl method so a lot of people have been in my comments uh asking if it's the jewelful method uh it's it's similar the reason that the um, it's called the lazy girl method is because it's essentially the jewelful method but it's even more lazier quote unquote because you don't take the tip off everyone asks if you take the tip off and I've even had some people telling me that I've left the jewel form on no a jewel form is um the mold and it's got like little ridges and it's also got like little um numbers and teeth for you to pop it off the nail at the end these are full cover tips. I know a lot of people use them as dual forms as well, and that's completely fine. They can do that. It's very creative, and I am so happy that people do find other ways to use nail tips. But I leave the uh, was it? I leave the actual tip on. It's not a dual form. It's a nail. It's a gel nail from AliExpress. They smell like gel. They are manufactured. They are they're gel. So yeah. Um, Oh, and I disappeared from the screen here for a little bit. I don't know why. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, a lot of people do ask, do you pop the nail off after? No. This is how it's different from the dual form method. You do not take off that nail that nail on top. It becomes a part of the nail and the structure and it makes the nail stronger and it gives you the apex. Essentially, you don't have to file. Why am I off? The I must have just sat there and cured. On I'm sorry, guys, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um yeah so it's essentially it's easier and i'd highly recommend this uh method your nails will last two to three weeks maybe even four depending on how fast your nails grow um it's great for beginners because you don't have to worry about filing and shaping you literally just stick them on and go but make sure that you get don't get any on your skin make sure that you clean up before you cure otherwise you can get skin allergies and contact dermatitis so when product any nail product gets on your skin make sure to wipe it away before you cure um but yeah other than that it's you know it's pretty normal so as you can see we've done um a full pink nail and now we're doing a full gold glitter nail these colors are stunning i really do like them um i will leave everything linked down below in the comments uh, not the comment section the description box uh i've talked a lot in this video i do apologize i just i had a lot to say because um so as you guys know i I was meant to post Saturday and Wednesday and I actually didn't post at all last weekend and this weekend, uh, this week, sorry. Basically, um, I just, uh, you know, when you have one of them weeks where you're just like, I can't physically do anything and I don't want to do anything. I was just concentrating on me and my kids and I was just having a really crappy week and I wasn't feeling well. Uh, my back's been playing up. I've got, a, I get bad back because I'm, 28 years old <laughs> um but yeah I was just feeling really down and drained and exhausted and I just thought I don't want to force myself to do a video for you guys and end up hating my results I don't want to give you guys bad content and stuff so in case you're wondering where the hell I was I'm sorry I am here I'm always like I'm always there on Instagram if you you know and I'm even on the comment section just because I don't upload a video doesn't mean I'm not here um you can definitely contact me through um Instagram or in the comment section it's completely up to you um but like I like, yeah I'll always be honest with you guys I, I don't want to I don't want you guys to think that I'm like I'm just disappearing because I'm not so yeah I, that's why I haven't uploaded for the past week um but yeah so anyway I just tried to do um like a icicle sugar nail on the tip of this 
the middle finger here I tried to just go with a top coat and it didn't come out well because there was no white base so what I what I'm doing now I wiped it away before I cured and now I'm just drawing on uh, the icicles with some uh, model one's white gel polish and um just a normal gel brush you can use a striper brush i was just being lazy here at this point i cured for 60 seconds and now i'm going in with top coat on the same brush obviously after i've cleaned it and then i pour before curing i pour into the icicles i pour some uh f extra fine glitter it's like a, a sugar sort of nail uh, just to give it like a shiny glittery sort of effect uh, and then again, I cure, but I cure for 60 seconds because you want to make sure that the whole nail is cured through because uh, you don't want any of that top coat uncured because you've put stuff on it. Then brush away the excess once you are cured and done. And uh, yeah, so that was a really simple way to do an icicle nail. I really do like that nail. It's very pretty to me. And then once I was done with all of that, I then top coated and cured for 60 seconds. And then added some cuticle oil and that was pretty much it. Don't forget to also top coat the underneath of your nails um, when you do this method. It's just to encapsulate everything really. Because poly gel without top coat, it it's just so sticky. <laughs> and even when it's you've wiped away the stickiness, it still seems to attract dirt. I don't know why. That looks like pee in a bottle. I swear it's not. It's cuticle oil, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so the um the two uh nails with the snowflakes and stuff they do look a bit like aquarium nails um i'm so quite happy about that they look 3d uh but yeah this is the end result guys i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe um i hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world don't forget to keep on smiling and stay safe um again i'm sorry for being awol for like a week but i'm back now and i'm going to try and get out as much content as i can for you guys but anyway guys the video is about to end so i hope you all did enjoy and i'll see you all on my next one bye <laughs>